Community Viewpoint. And welcome again to another segment of Community Viewpoint. I'm John Pollock, your host for this segment, and we have a lot of information to put out to you today, so let's get on with the show. First of all, we're going to be talking about something that's called RAM. Let's bring, uh, put the flyer up there really quick. And RAM uh, signifies what? It's the- Remote Area Medical. That's not my voice. <laughs> so we're gonna be talking about this. Let's bring it back to us. And we're going to have Leanne Luna and Susan Holchak speaking about that. And uh, do you wanna give your titles as you uh, speak about the, the RAM event that's coming up in the latter part of September? So we've begun to have these um, committee meetings. I am thrilled to be a part of this. So I'm actually going to be chairing the promotions committee. We have three separate committees. Leanne will probably mention the other two, but I just I'm thrilled to talk about this. Yeah, we have um, the promotions, the recruitment, and the hospitality com uh, committees, and this is a huge. Um, event that uh, has a lot of the different facets to it that we have to meet before September. So we're working hard to meet these. Let me see if I can give everyone a little bit of background as well. So RAM, Remote Area Medical, was actually started by an individual by the name of Stan Brock. Um, he actually uh, worked for a period of time in British Guiana. And so he knows very well what it's what it's like to be in an area where you area, yeah. yes where you can't find medical or dental or vision and so um, actually since 1992 he has hosted as it were um, although we need communities to to help make this a reality he's had 346 clinics ram in, has, in yes. ram has in 12 states and it, what an honor that they have even thought about looking at Pahrump. And so it's a three-day event um, that's coming here to offer on totally free dental, vision, and general medical. Yeah, to make a correlation, when I think of the RAM event, I think a little bit about MASH, the TV show. Mm -hmm. uh, the mm -hmm. initial, when you need treatment, mm -hmm. they're there for you. So if you want to describe a little bit what was going to be available uh, for the RAM event, I appreciate well, that. Well, and I, I think Leanne can pop in here um, as well, but it is, as I say, it's a three-day event. It's absolutely free. Um, when we talk about dental, vision, and medical, general medical, I do need to kind of explain, though, that when people come, you can have vision and general medical on one day, or you can have dental and general medical on one day, but you can't have all three on right. the same day. But you can come back. It's a first come, first serve basis. And maybe Leanne, you want to talk about kind of the when we talk about dental, what are the things that they're going to be doing? It's a full three day event. And through my um, job at the coalition as mm -hmm. community health worker, I have identified many people in the community with dental problems that do not have insurance, that cannot get it done, mm -hmm. um, that cannot get their vision uh, corrected because they don't have insurance in order to get the glasses. So it's, it's a very good opportunity for people to come out, get things done that have been bothering them for a very long time. And when she's talking about things getting done, how many of us, so they're going to be able to do actual extractions yes. to have teeth that need to come out. They're going to be cleaning teeth. Um, they're going to be doing fillings. Um, that's just the dental portion, the vision portion. They're going to give you some eye exams. Again, a value is you're going to be able to walk away that day with a new pair of yeah, glasses. That's really awesome. But you have to get there early, mm -hmm. and it'll take a, a good part of the day to do that because uh, they'll check your eyes, they'll do an evaluation, they'll ground the glasses, glass, mm -hmm. and they'll set you up with frames, and you'll walk away with nothing Hollywood style or anything, but mm -hmm. you'll have uh, your peepers will work by the time you leave there. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, but I, I, th I want people to realize too the value is because it's free, but. The drawback is that if there is a drawback, is that you probably are going to be standing in line for a little bit. As as Leanne said, it's first come, first serve, and so we we would encourage people. You know, make sure you bring water and something to munch on, and I don't know, maybe a book or your tablet or whatever, because you may be standing for a period of time. All right. So let's let's tell them what what they can expect and where they can expect uh, this to happen. Great. 
Okay, this is being held at the NAC Center at the Nine Communities Coalition. It's going to be on the whole campus. We're going to be using the, the larger part of the NAC for most of the vision mm -hmm. and um, mental, medical and dental um, event. And then they will put you in different areas depending on what you're, what you're needing. You start at 3 o'clock in the morning in line. They're going to be handing out bracelets depending on what you're requesting to do. And then as they'll pull you out of line to get you into process, as it opens at 7 o'clock in the morning. And then you'll go through the process that John just described, beginning, middle, and end, and hopefully we can get you through in a decent amount of time. There are long lines. They're in Vegas. We've, they've had this for several years in Vegas. And they served like over 1,000 people, was it, mm -hmm. in Vegas um, every day. So it is something that we're looking for. Um, people to be able to spend the day with us because it's going to be a long and arduous situation. So this depends <laughs> on how many health care providers we have also. Right. So RAM is going to bring a certain amount of staff with them, but they, they really want community buy-in. So we're hoping that we can get some of our physicians, our hygienists, our nurses, um, just a wide range of professional people. Uh, to help out because obviously the more medical personnel that's there, the more people they can see. So that's an aspect. And then we have, as Leanne said, we have other aspects like the hospitality. We're going to need to feed the staff members for three days, the mm. three days that they're here. So there is going to be a cost. We're really hoping that um, sponsors will step up in our community and say, you know what, let us help you with, with either the cost of food or whatever. So. <clears throat> So it's, this is, the people that are coming here, there are no questions asked about mm -hmm. what your, uh, your uh, status is for insurance, where you live, any Correct. questions. No uh, ID is needed at this point. No. Mm -mm. Uh, there's a minimum age, I think. 18, yeah. so. No, I for volunteers, they're 18, but for people receiving services, uh, anybody can receive services. But you have to be, uh, a child Don't, has to be with an adult. A child has to be with, with, an, with a parent. That's, yes, that's but, what I But as far as volunteers, right. you have to be 18 or older. Mm -hmm. so. So, so we're starting this early. So this is early part of June, and this is starting. This is going to be the last part of September. Uh, so we, this is in in the infancy right now. So it really is, yeah. and that's why um, it's. We're grateful that John let us come on today because the sooner that we get this community involvement, the better for everyone. Uh, because there, to make this happen, there is going to be a lot of work. Um, but our community never hesitates when something, when an opportunity like this comes along. So I don't think they're going to let us down this time either. Right. And if you have a gift for talking to people and, and, and being a comfort to people yeah. and you want to come volunteer for that day, that is a very mm -hmm. heartwarming place to volunteer. It is. It really is. So if you want to become a volunteer, if we put up the flyer again, I don't know, if, did we have that on there also, HTTP? colon two double uh, forward slashes r-a-m-u-s-a dot org forward slash volunteer uh, forward slash and then you can hit register you'll see it on if you just type in and google in uh, ram usa dot org you'll be able to uh, find your way into the, the prompt site so that just came up there the other day also so i'm really glad you gave that website because people may just have questions about RAM or sometimes the validity of or whatever. So All the answers for, are up there on the they links. They really are. Yes. It's a great website. Go on and, and surf and see a little bit about the organization. So once again, that's going to happen September 30th through October 2nd at the Nye Communities Coalition, which is 1020 East Wilson Road, uh, 89048. We, our phone number is 775-727-9970. If you have questions, either stop in or give us a call or uh, just watch the show again. <laughs> and hopefully John's going to let us come on one more time before we will. the event. Anyway, yes. good. Thank yes. you. Uh, like, like, like I mentioned, this is at the infancy right now, so mm -hmm. we want as much buy-in as we can get from mm -hmm. the local uh, uh, public, the prof uh, medical professionals, psychological, uh, mm -hmm. medical, uh, church folks, to mm -hmm. uh, compassionate food, people. Food providers yes. and hospitality providers. 
This is a large um, influx of people coming in to serve. So we need um, rooms for them, we need food for them, mm -hmm. and uh, we really appreciate the community coming out to help us. And just so you know, people may be wondering because it's breaking a little tradition. So this is not during Fall Festival. Fall no. Festival is going to be the week before. Right, right. Exactly. So we're not stepping on their toes at all. That's right. But uh, so. I, was that it about f for that 2016 uh, clinic schedule? You can f you could find that on the website. Also, there are other areas, but this is the only time it's going to be close to us, and this is the first time we've had that here. And that's thanks to uh, Stacy Smith, uh, who's participated with a lot of us mm -hmm. that par have participated in Las Vegas and uh, the uh, previous uh, RAM events there also, and it's really for the folks who can't afford regular medical, uh, dental, or optical uh, services so don't all those hesitate. services nowadays are so expensive yes so expensive but and no I, questions as a asked yes yeah. as a reminder though because you're we're wanting to serve people you really can't save a spot for someone else I just throw that out mm -hmm. right it's so. got to be just you and you alone mm -hmm. and um, just come there it starts at 3 o'clock in the morning to start your numbers and the basic services start after 7 a.m. and they end around 5 p.m. and then about that time the medical people are just about shy anyway because <laughs> they're going for the entire time also. Yes, yes. So. and I think Sunday is just a half day. Isn't yeah, it? They, yes. they'll, okay. they'll be packing and getting ready to go on to the next site. So. Oh, wow. wow. So uh, if you need transportation, uh, please find the transportation early in the morning or there's uh, other ways to get there. We have something <laughs> else called the Vet Trans uh, for veterans, so they'll be helping the veterans get there. Uh, we have a bus that's dedicated to us. We have one more minute to talk about that. We also have another vehicle we just got back from uh, uh, Laughlin today. So we And I think the Senior Center will be assisting people um, mm -hmm. to come as well for RAM. So, um, you might want to check with the senior center. Right. So many good things are happening with the vet trans, also the the bus service. So we start this coming Monday. Oh my God! <laughs> All these I'm things so are excited. happening. So we'll have another show on that in the near future. Yeah. So thank you for watching, and we'll come back to this as this progresses. And uh, we thank you, thank you, uh, Leanne, thank you, Susan, as thank always. You. <laughs> thank you for having us on. We appreciate it. All right. That's we're out of time. Thank you. Community Viewpoint. Mm -hmm.